Hi everybody, it's me, Crafty Witch, and um, yeah, it's a, a video, and I haven't made one in a long time, so here I am. 2009 has been really, really busy for me. Um, I moved from the farm to town, and then, then I bought a house, moved into the house. Also during that time, I was working in Justice, and then I switched over to working for one of our school boards here. I now work at a school with like, I don't know, 800 students, and I do counseling and all kinds of stuff there. And I also uh, do private contract works, uh, private contract work, I can't talk, it's been a long day. Um, for two different branches of the provincial government. So I work with young offenders that are in jail and I work with young offenders that have been released and I do two totally different um, jobs. Um, so yeah, it's been, you know, it's been really busy. So there's that aspect. My career life is busy. Personal life has been um, chaotic, busy kind of thing. Um, my youngest son just turned 16 in August. He's been having heart troubles and so I've been dealing with cardiologists and specialists and having tests and trying to figure out what's wrong and, you know, being the parent, being a single mom. Um, my ex-husband, once we got divorced like 10 years ago, he cut off all ties with the kids pretty much. Um, he visited with them sporadically for the first year um, after our divorce was finalized. And then once he got remarried, it was like that was the end of it. He, he called and cancelled the, the visits indefinitely. Moved around, moved around kind of thing. We have no idea where he is or what he does and he could care less about the kids. So that's just the way it is. Um, and it's like boohoo, you know, everybody has a sad story and that's what, <laughs> whatever it is. So anyway, <laughs> being a single mom, raising the kids, you know, I, I'm both the mom and, and I try to be the dad for them, you know, and you try to be both, um, you know, the, the parent and setting boundaries and, and stuff and then keeping the lines of communication open and, you know, we, we hang out lots and we, we do things like we'll go to movies or we'll go play pool or we'll go on little road trips or we'll just go and do whatever and I don't know. Sometimes I, I wonder if I, you know, even done any of that right. But I think, you know, for the most part they turn out pretty good. Um, my oldest is 20, then my middle son's 18, and my youngest is now 16. And you know, they've never been in trouble with the law, they've, thank God, um, they've never, um, been in gangs, they, even though some gangs try to recruit them, but I stopped that pretty quick, um, they, you know, they're just, they're not into drinking or partying or, or that kind of thing, so, which is, really awesome uh, as far as I'm concerned. You know, they're at school and they're doing stuff with their lives and they work and, you know, they have goals and, and stuff. So, I, I guess they didn't turn out so bad after all. Um, anyway, so with my, my youngest son and his heart problems and, and stuff, you know, it was really scary because on their father's side of the family, a lot of their, their first cousins and other relatives have heart defects, have issues with the heart, um, first cousins, young people, you know, that kind of thing. It's a very real fear. Uh, they've had relatives die because of it, young relatives die, so it's like, you don't know if it's something genetic. And, um, so he was scared about that and didn't want to die. He was 15 at the time. You know, he's got goals, he wants to do things, he, you know, it's not that he doesn't believe in an afterlife, he just wants to experience life here while he's here, right? And then as a parent, you got to be strong for them and, you know, and all that jazz. And then my dad was on his deathbed in July and 
there's been some improvement, but he's still not out of the woods. And so, July and August, it was like running back and forth between the town or the city where I live. They call it a city, but it's really just a town. And the town where he lives, and then looking after him, and you know, yeah, it's been busy. So, during all this stuff going on in my life, YouTube really was not a priority at all. And then when I would hop online, it was like drama this, drama that, people squabbling, people fighting, you know, people picking sides, and it's like, <laughs> I could care less for all that crap. Honestly, when you have a child that, you know, is dealing with a serious medical uh, condition and other family members and and you're busy with your career and you know all kinds of stuff it's like you know what it I had no desire to be involved in that at all I've got very strong opinions about everything um, about that and what I think about when people resort to certain behaviors and stuff and quite frankly you know what each their own so you know I just I stayed away I could have cared less it really when you got you know as a parent and you know the possibility that you know what if you lose your child what you know um, you don't give a shit about that kind of that's all garbage it means nothing to you at all so that's where I'm at <sighs> what else what else what else um Yeah, that's pretty much my, my life in a nutshell right now. Um, I don't have much of a life outside of work and work and try to sleep when I can. Um, and, you know, my kids work and stuff and <laughs> this town doesn't really have public trans transit or, or whatever. My kids don't have cars. Um, so, uh, if they work a closing shift, then I'll get the call in the middle of the night. Can you come pick us up? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I'm going to go and pick them up. And I don't want them walking, even though it's considered kind of a small city or whatever. Because um, they've already been chased uh, once before. Um, and, uh, like, by rednecks and cars and, and stuff like that. So kind of like, yeah, uh, learn how to run fast and learn how to hide and try to get home safe and sound. <laughs> and here's a cell phone, by the way. Um, don't be stupid phone kind of thing. But, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting living here. And that's, that's where things are at. Um, small town, small-minded folks. Uh, that's something I, I picked up right away. And it, it's like, I get asked the most ridiculous questions. Like one um, teacher asked me if I was in a gang. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm a social worker. Uh, hello? Uh, no. Do you see any patches on me? No. Uh, like, hello? But, um, yeah, it's interesting. Do I work with a lot of gangs? Yeah. Do I know people that are in gangs? Yeah, am I related to people in gangs? Yeah, I'm also related to cops, so you know what? You know, but yeah, just, um, things like that have been interesting. So that's my ranting, updating type video for, for YouTube. Um, nothing really exciting, it's just been busy. So that's it for now. Ciao.